There's no denying that the Detroit Lions' pass rush is the weakest part of their defense. Pass rush, secondary. Brad Holmes did ample to address the secondary last year, and he's got to do a little bit more this year between free agency and the draft. But the pass rush is the number one order of business when it comes to the Detroit Lions' defense. And there's a couple guys we've been talking about. Some are going to be more attainable than others. But there's a particular name you already know from the title and thumbnail that kind of it's it's starting to heat up now between uh, teams and this individual that could be cut. But now we're talking about a potential trade that could happen as well. If you're a general manager, you kind of got to if, if I don't gamble, but I can only imagine what this is like if you play some type of card poker or uh, something like that where you are trying to see if the the other player is bluffing and DeAndre Hopkins is the perfect example the Arizona Cardinals they tried to trade him and I have no doubt that the Chargers are doing the same thing nobody bit and they wind up cutting him to save some cap space and he could go anywhere he wanted in free agency but if a team wanted to prevent that from happening and make sure they got their hands on Khalil Mack they could try for a trade and that's why this is relevant in this situation. Now, this is coming from Jeremy Fowler. He is a ESPN insider, uh, NFL insider. Here's what he had to say. Said, Jeremy Fowler reported on Sunday's Sports Center that the Los Angeles Chargers edge rusher is one in particular that I know multiple teams I've spoken to have an eye on because he had 17 sacks a year ago. Huge cap hit, and the Chargers can save $20 million on their cap if they were to trade or move on there's maybe there's a trade possibility for a team in need of a pass rusher and there will be many in that market around free agency and we know free agency is in a matter of weeks could the Detroit Lions be one of the teams that Fowler is talking about I think that they are and, I, and it's not because, oh, you want, I think that they are. Because Brad Holmes, one thing we know that Brad Holmes will do is something unconventional. He will also take risk. We know that as well. Josh Pascals, uh, Levi Anwuzurike, a lot of the injured investments that Brad Holmes makes is they're risky, right? Trading up for Broderick Martin. And to the comments, I just want to derail just a little bit. You guys are talking about giving Broderick Martin a chance. I can't do that. If Broderick Martin was sitting there in the third round, Without being traded up for, that's one thing. If Broderick Martin was taken in the sixth or seventh round, like Antoine Green, you don't hear anybody talking about Antoine Green. That's another thing. Broderick Martin being in, picked in the top 100. The Lions have four picks in the top 100, and it's all over social media. Remember that Broderick Martin was taken 96. So he was one of those four players. Are you excited about him last year? No. Are you excited about him this year? Be honest with yourself. No. Now, how does that come back to Khalil Mack? Brad Holmes likes to take take risk. Could he be willing to take a risk and ensure that Khalil Mack wind up on this team? Now, if he did that, the Lions would have to uh, eat quite a bit of money. And that that's where one thing that I don't know if Brad Holmes is willing to do. Now, this is where coming also from Bleacher Report. Here's he continues. He's only under contract through next season. And while the Chargers would eat about $15.2 million in dead cap for trading him, they'd also save a big chunk of change. Teams ready to contend now and in need of an upgrade on the edge would make sense as potential suitors should the Chargers choose to take the overall cap savings. Now, I personally believe that they are going to either cut or trade Khalil Mack, even though he's coming off of that season, because they've got a, I believe that they're trying to make room for other things to happen. And they're not going to part ways with Keenan Allen. You're already looking at Mike Williams, and they could also make a move on Joey Bosa as well. But I think Khalil Mack is the only one that's going to net them anything. So the question that I have for you in the comments below is we're talking about Daniil Hunter. And Hunter is the top person that a lot of you in the comment section want. For me, it's Josh Allen. He's probably going to be tagged. Daniil Hunter will be a second. If you're going to trade for a Khalil Mack, what would you be on the hook for this year? I believe it's quite extensive, but what would you like to see? Khalil Matt contract. That's what we're going to look at right now because I want to make sure to see what the Lions would be on the hook for for the 2024 NFL season. Playing with the Chargers. Okay, so the Detroit Lions, 
would be on the hook. Let me see. Let's bring this in. The Detroit Lions or any team as well. His base salary, 17.5. He gets a roster bonus uh, of 5.5. I don't think that that applies to the Detroit Lions. So what, 17 million is, is what we're looking at? 17 million, somewhere around there. Let me see. It tells you right here. In 2024, Mac will earn a base salary of 17.5 million, a roster bonus of 5.5 million, and a workout bonus of 200,000. So I believe it's somewhere between 17 and 22 million dollars. So, but if he's cut again, that contract is void and the Detroit Lions can start over, meaning they don't have to worry about what what the what he did with the Chargers and what he was earning with the Chargers. I think that is the biggest kind of hindrance to any team trading for Khalil Mack. But the trade Brad Holmes, one thing I can say, man, is he would do unorthodox things by trading for a Trinity Benson trading up in the draft to get Jamison Williams, trading three picks away for a guy that played 50 snaps in 2023. So I wouldn't put it past Brad Holmes to do this, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I think Khalil Mack is going to get moved one way or another, whether it's through a trade or it is through being cut and going to another team. But again, if a team wanted to secure his services, they would jump the gun, pull the trigger, and trade for him so that he couldn't go anywhere he wanted to in free agency or the Detroit Lions. Cause and, and even if you paid him anywhere between 17 and 22 million, you're talking about that's what I want to say the edge pass rusher franchise tag is getting. I want to say it's 21.5, somewhere around there. Could be the linebacker that I'm thinking of. It's between I, I think it is 21.5. So you could get. But you're talking about a one-year deal. And with Brad Holmes, that's not going to have an extension would have to. So listen, would I be opposed to this? Brad Holmes has traded for traded up to get Broderick Martin and many others. He's failed many others. Trading for Khalil Mack would not be a fail. It wouldn't be a fail. Uh, trading for him for one year, it would be. You got to remember, dude is coming off an inflated 17 sack season, but we went over his stats before. He's no slouch now. People on the defensive line would have to account for Khalil Mack. And at this point, anyone would help the Detroit Lions. But I think the Detroit Lions are going to wait for him to get cut. But let me know in the comments below. How would you feel if right now Brad Holmes made a move for Khalil Mack to trade? Let me know in the comment section below. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well. I think we're less than 10 away from 19.8K. My hope is that we are at 20,000 by March 1st. March 1st, we can get to 20K, and then we'll do the giveaway sometime after that. So consider subscribing. It would be awesome. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.